brought a lot of energy to us, you know, him getting and ones and making free throws. But we came into a huddle, we like, just throw it to him. Everybody was on the same page, and it happened for him. Cal said it looked like Oscar was playing a video game. <laughs> Definitely. Tonight. Is that what it felt like to be watching it as a teammate? Uh, playing, I didn't know until later on in the game. I looked up at the scoreboard and I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I'm happy for him, you know, <laughs> crazy. You kind of took over point guard duties there, you know, there in the second half. I think 18, 19 minutes in the second half is the, is the primary one. Just what, what's your comfort level right now at that position? Um, I'm pretty comfortable at the one right now, but, you know, with Sa not playing that much, I mean, I feel like he helped me a lot, but when he's out on the court, I feel like it's more comfortable and he's, it's more smooth because he knows what he's doing. He's been there. He knows everything. How's your back feeling? It seems like you know, you're still wearing that brace as you're checking into the game. Yeah, back's feeling, back's feeling good. Um, just trying to keep doing stuff to prevent you know, injury. So I'm not there. How much of it were you powering through there in the second half? You played a lot of minutes, obviously. The first and second half against Tennessee, you played a few at the start of the half and then sat for a while. But here at the second half, as you said, you played all those minutes. Were you powering through anything? Uh, no, I was feeling fine. You know, we got a great training staff and they help us out a lot. And I mean, they just made sure that I was doing things before this game to where I wouldn't have any pain. So. What was the Oscar biggest said that Oscar said that you guys seemed like you were having fun out there together. A couple games ago, they talked about just everybody needing to fight. Does it feel like you guys are finally starting to come together as a team, or is it more just stuff's clicking on the court? A uh, little bit of both. You know, once we see somebody doing good, I mean, I feel like it pumps everybody else up. Like we're not selfish, or you know, it's his night, and I'm not doing too much. I'm not pouting. I'm still bringing energy on the bench. Like I feel like we're all coming together more. <laughs> What does it do for you guys when you see Oscar having a game like he had tonight? Uh, like I said, it just brings everybody else up. Like It gives us more confidence because, I mean, we know we're going to be open because he's drawing so much attention and we just got to make plays. You feel like you all found a pretty good rhythm in that second half? Does it look like it? Uh, it looks like he had got a good rhythm. <laughs> it looked like Oscar got a good rhythm down the stretch. But, I mean, we were just playing ball. We were just having fun, really. How do you describe that performance Oscar put together? Cal said it was like he was playing a video game. Definitely. It's crazy. I've never seen nothing like that <laughs> in my own eyes. What is that like for you guys, you know, just knowing you got to feed him, just feed him at that point? Um, like you said, just feed him. There's nothing we can do. I mean, he's going to fight, get rebounds, and be Oscar. That was Oscar. What's it going to take for you guys to do this consistently now? You put, a, put together games like this. Back to back, although you struggled in the first half, can you do this every night? Um, we're just trying to stack wins every day. You know, first half we we're trying to get wins. We tried to win the first half, we won the second half. So just keep stacking wins day by day. You guys went through an eight-minute stretch without subbing, and you got a lot of you guys were in foul trouble at the time. Were three fouls. What kind of discipline did it show for you guys to stay in the game, not have to come out with any more fouls, that kind of thing? Uh, just whatever the team needs. You know. You don't want to be out there fouling and having to come out when, you know, other players are in foul trouble and things like that. Just being a team player and knowing what it takes. What was the key first? Just from first to second half, just what changed once you guys got out of the break? Uh, we started making shots. Shots started falling. We were more locked in on defense, you know. I feel like our help side was better. Our on-ball defense was better, and we just stuck to the scheme. You shot your first free throw in an SEC game tonight did you realize that and, and have you been asking what do I got to do to get a call or two no nah, I haven't I mean I got up there I felt confident uh, made the first one unfortunately the second one did not go in so that hurt <laughs> is it tough to get into a free throw shooting rhythm when when you're not getting to the mark uh, no nah, I mean free throw is the same every time you know there's no change in a free throw in the pick and roll, they were going under it in the second half, and you knocked down some jumpers coming off. Do you feel slighted when you see somebody kind of going over the screen? Definitely. It gives me more time and more space to get a shot off. So if they keep going under, I have a ball. <laughs> okay, so uh, Cal described Chris as tough as nails in the postgame. Just how have you seen Chris progress over the course of the season, and how important is he to what you all are trying to do? as a team? Uh, he's a very key piece. He made great plays tonight, you know, getting offensive rebounds and just 
being gritty and making those tough plays. You know, he was out there fighting and it showed like he had a great game. Seems like he could maybe play that sort of spark plug role for you all going forward. Definitely. I mean, we started him for a reason, you know, he's bringing energy, he's playing hard and he's making the right plays. What's CJ's leadership meant for these last two games? Uh, he's been very positive, um, just keeping us all together and making sure nobody falls off. You know, we're all together and we're going to keep winning.